Minnesota City Live. Welcome back everyone to Soda City Live. We are in the Soda City Live kitchen right now because we are going to be talking about a place where you can bake and decorate a cake. My Leisha Guess is the owner of Cake Boot Camp. Cake Boot Camp. I like it. I like the title. So I was asking you where it's located and you said at 7201 Park Lane Road and I was like, wait a minute, that's where my hairdresser is located. Mm -hmm. It is a strip mall. It's kind of near Columbia Place Mall if that helps you. Um, Park Lane, Decker area, Two Notch Road. So you have set up shop in there and tell me about these classes that you're teaching there. Okay, so I have several classes. I have a six week class that's called Cake Boot Camp. And it's for adults. Um, you come in, you learn everything you need to know, baking techniques, decorating for six weeks. And then at the end, I show you how to start a business. Oh, wow. Um, then we have kids class. Uh, kids classes, they're, they're, depends on which ones we do. Some of them are fun. They could be Wait, seasonal. some of them are fun, so some aren't? <laughs> yeah, some, some of them are serious because it's cake weekend. Okay. Uh, so That's some cute. of the kids classes are serious. Uh -huh. um, I break them down into age groups. Um, and then some of them are just like for in classes, like uh, we made Halloween treats, we uh -huh. made um, Christmas, we'll come up, we'll do Christmas cakes. Yes. We did a doll dress. Uh -huh. um, oh, me wow. and some of the young Impressive. ladies. So, yeah, we're just getting the kids warmed up to something new. Yes. A possibility of starting a business at a young age. That's fantastic. Okay, let's go through some of the things we have here. Tell me first about this beautiful pink cake. I hope you can okay. get a shot from overhead there. Yes, tell me about this one. So, this is a fun Fetty cake, um, and it's a cartoon design, and it's real popular now with nails and cake. It's trending. So I made it for y'all. It's, it's covered in buttercream icing, so it has no fondant on it. Oh, wow. Um, the candle is the only thing that's made out of fondant. Oh, wow. Um, okay. These are your And this is what cookies. you would be teaching them how to do this. Yes. Okay. Yep. What is the sprinkly stuff on top? That's edible glitter. It is? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to say yep. it looks like glitter, but that's okay. Nice to know it's edible now. <laughs> this looks yep. so good. All right. Tell me about the trick then in icing a cupcake. Okay. I'm going to show you how to ice a cupcake. Okay. <laughs> so I got you oh, some I'm, gloves. Oh, she's putting me to work here. This is, this okay. is dirty. Do you get real dirty? Um, with these cupcakes, <laughs> we're going to do a strawberry cake with a cream cheese strawberry. Icing. Okay. 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 Um, and I'm going to just teach you really quick how we do a quick swirl. You know, I, let me guess that the number one thing that goes wrong is when you try to ice it when it's still hot. Yeah, yeah. That's so let good. it completely cool, right? Yes. I've tried that, made that mistake before. Yes. Okay. Okay, so here's your icing. Uh -huh. This is the decorating bag uh -huh. with the 1M tip. Mm -hmm. And I roll it down. And do you do the, the 1M tip usually for everything? You wouldn't do that on this size cake, would you? I could if I wanted to do okay. a border. Okay. I could. Just real or fine. Or I could do rosettes and cover it in rosettes with the 1M tip. Too. Okay, okay. All right, oh boy. So we always do something called burping our bag. So uh -huh. we squeeze it down uh -huh. and we burp it. You heard it pop a little bit yeah. just to get the air out okay. of it. And I'm going to show you the, I'm going to let you. Okay. So I push, 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 and then come. Off the, the top. Middle. So okay. you're, you're applying um, pressure on it the entire, look, <laughs> are you nervous? I'm going in a circle. <laughs> are you worried? No, I'm I, not I want you to do good so they can know to come take my clothes. <laughs> Okay, I better do this well for you. All right, now go in the circle. Okay, push out a little bit more. Oh, okay. Yeah, my... You're doing good, you just got to apply more pressure. Okay. Hey, okay. I'm... And you did good. I'm kind of pleased with that. Now, yeah. it doesn't look like yours does. Yeah, it doesn't but you look actually nice. did a rosette, yeah. and I did a cupcake top. So, oh. it, it could be either or. I, look, did a rosette and didn't even try. Didn't yeah. even... Oh, you're going to make me do it again? All right. What about the consistency of the icing? What is key in knowing about that? Well, I make all my own icing, so you mm -hmm. want to make sure oh, um, if you ice in a cupcake, you have it at a medium consistency. Uh -huh. You have a soft, then you have a medium, you have a stiff. Okay. Um, so I always like to ice it with a medium consistency. Okay, I, I messed up on this okay, one. You probably need a little bit well, more icing. yeah, you know what though? This does make me appreciate. I'll let you finish it because I don't want to ruin all the cupcakes. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Hold this up. Up. They're asking me to. You guys can see this, right? Yeah, she, she did yeah. a really good job. Though. Yes. Well, you're sweet. That that. One the first one was better. So what what ingredient? I, the burping the bag. The burping I, yeah. Bag. What um, what's the main ingredient then that you need to add if your icing is too thick? Um, if it's too thick, you want to add either some milk or some water. Okay. And um, if it's too thin, what can we add? 
powdered sugar. Okay. Yeah, powdered sugar is icing. So mm -hmm. that's really the key. So really when you eat icing, you're just eating sugar. Okay. And this, I like how this gives me a little more leniency where it's not like this has to be perfect. Right. Which you did. And what, what do I need to know on this? How did you get that so flat and ironed on there like that? Well, one of the things that I do teach in the class is how to make your own icing. And mm -hmm. so you couldn't get this with like a... Um, a store bought icing. Okay. This is a crusted American buttercream. Ah, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this dish, Alicia. I'm gonna put this on uh, here if you want to do another. So the boot camp. Then what kind of price are we talking about for kids to, and adults to be in that? Okay. All the kids classes are affordable. Uh -huh. um, they're either seventy five dollars or less. And that's for the six week one or the. That's the kids class. Okay, the kids classes. And they're for three or four hours. Uh huh. Um, or until the kids, you know, they get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, three or four hours? Wow. Yeah. I like to have fun with the kids. That's fantastic. Yeah, so when they come in, I take out the 360 booth. Yeah. We do cakes. Um, I serve them like a cotton candy bubbly. Aww, and we have a good time. That is so cute. Yeah, well, time. you know, it's a it's a wonderful way to to entertain kids, but also teach them something at the same time and have something productive. And so your next class is when? When can people sign up? Um, the next kids class is December the 18th. Mm -hmm. um, and it's on the website in the next adult class for Cake Boot Camp. It starts January the second Tuesday in January. Okay. You know, do you have a Facebook page? How would people go to get signed up for this? They go on yourfavoritecakelady.com. Your